Joe Biden is now taking the lead, albeit a slim one, in the battleground of Pennsylvania. He's also taken a narrow lead in Georgia in the U.S. presidential race. We'll be live from Washington, D.C. in just a moment. Georgia is on everyone's mind right now. It's one of several swing states that could influence the outcome of the race. Mr. Biden is set to be leading by a mere 917 voters there, with 99% of votes counted. Now, this is why it could affect the state of play. Based on AP's projection, Mr. Biden has 264 electoral college votes, while Mr. Trump is on 214. The winning number is, of course, 270. So if Mr. Biden wins in Georgia, which has 16 votes, AP will likely call him the winner. But there's a caveat. Unlike AP, several US networks did not project the win for Mr. Biden in Arizona, citing that the race is too close to call. Nick Harper joins us live from Washington, D.C. Nick, tell us how likely will major U.S. news networks call a new president-elect today? Well, we just don't know. It is a complete nail-biter. Everyone waiting to see. But as you were doing the maths there, it shows why Pennsylvania is so important for the Biden campaign. Because with 20 electoral college votes, it doesn't matter which model you're going by, the AP counting or the other U.S. networks counting, 20 electoral college votes would take Joe Biden over the 270 threshold that he needs to, needs to reach in order to win this. Georgia would almost get him there if you're one of the US networks, but Pennsylvania takes him all the way. So there will be a nervous few hours, I imagine, in some of the US networks' newsrooms as they try to work out uh, whether or not they're going to uh, call this presidential race. At the moment, we haven't got any projections that he will be the winner because these votes are so close. And I'm talking about just about four or five 5,000 votes still to count in Georgia, just 0.1% of the votes separating the two candidates. It is likely that they will err on the side of caution to try and get all of the votes coming in before they make any predictions on who has won the state and therefore potentially who has won the presidency. Uh, they will all be doing their maths very, very carefully. The last thing that any of the US networks wants at this stage is to announce too early that Joe Biden has won when there is still counting going on. So we'll have to see over the coming hours, but certainly things seem to be trending in Joe Biden's direction with him now taking the lead, not just in Georgia, but Pennsylvania as well. And with the way that the, uh, the results seem to be coming in for the Biden camp, uh, are there signs that the Trump campaign will keep on fighting? There is certainly that potential. I mean, from a legal point of view, Steve, we know that they've got uh, lawsuits out around the country. They've sent lawyers to all of the contentious states, the likes of Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, even Wisconsin and Michigan, which have been called for Joe Biden. So they're likely to continue to try and push those lawsuits. But there's also very much a big question mark over whether Donald Trump will accept the result if Joe Biden wins. Will he concede? There have been some suggestions put forward, even by the president himself, that he would not be willing to take the result if he loses. He's been asked on a couple of occasions over the last few months if he would peacefully transfer power if he loses, something that happens in every single election. It is really a norm, an expectation, but Donald Trump has called into question whether he would do that. And that is certainly worrying Democrats, because we may get to a stage where the news networks call it for Mr. Biden, but Mr. Biden has to work out whether he uh, has a victory speech before the President of the United States has conceded. It will certainly be a very interesting few hours uh, ahead here in the United States. Yes, we will be watching and we will be waiting as well. Nick Harper reporting there from Washington, D.C.